Hey babes, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Susie. So y'all already know I like to get right into it. So let's do that. If you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're returning. What's good? What's popping, poo? So y'all, I do a bunch of DIYs and vlogs on my channel. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and hit that post notification button so y'all don't miss out when your girl posts. So let's get into it, okay? So, I went in with 18 to 21 inches. This one right here is 21 inches. It's for the smaller girl and it's going to be for length. So, that's when you determine which size that you want to go with. So, I am going to fold it like so. And as you can see, the part is open. So, it's two pieces. So, we're sewing those pieces and the ribbon together. Really, really simple, y'all. If y'all need to pause and rewind because I was talking too much then do so but literally just sew all the way across and go ahead and cut that out and later on I will be showing y'all that I will be using a lighter to light the ends of the ribbon so that it don't get those little edges that come apart and literally we're just going to sew a little opening for the elastic band and this is what it should be looking like and as you can see I went ahead and cut out the other pieces and I did the same thing that I just showed you guys to that I kept this video short and simple because I am doing other things in this project as well it's not just going to be the tutus so as you can see I fed the elastic band through the opening that we had and now I am just attaching the elastic band together so y'all, y'all can use this one inch elastic band or you can use the half inch elastic band. Totally up to you. It really don't matter. But this is what the tutu is looking like now. Her mom wanted the overall set. So I am going to be adding that to the top of this. And this is the little square part that I am going to be using right here. And now we're going to go ahead and cut out our um, straps for the overalls. So y'all, I believe I measured this to two inches or two and a half inches. I'm not 100% sure, but um, yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on. So um, I am really sorry about that. If y'all need measurements for that, you can kind of eyeball it, but it looks like it's about two inches. So um, these are really long, but I went ahead and set the straps to the side because we're going to work on this top part right here. So basically, you're going to put both right sides together, and I am going to literally just sew around this like so. You're not going to do the top part just yet, but I'm going to go ahead and cut out these pieces right here. So when we flip it inside out, it will actually, you know, line up properly or whatever. I don't know the correct terms to talk about it, but so this part, I went ahead and like flipped and tuck those extra ends in and we just gonna do a top stitch all the way around this little square so we can give it that detailed look. And this is what it should be looking like. So now I am just basically placing my buttons. I did measure um, where I wanted the buttons so they both can be in the same spots. So I am literally just going to go ahead and hand sew this button. Okay y'all, so now I am measuring about four and a half inches. Um, for the pocket that we're going to place here and I just kind of went all the way around and made it to like a oval shape as you can see y'all kind of catch what's going on um, y'all know I really don't use templates like that I am going to start using them though but 
as of right now, we just working from scratch. And you should have two pieces like so. I know it looks super big. Don't worry about it because we're just going to go ahead and sew it around like this. And basically kind of like follow the same exact steps that we did for the first piece. And we're going to go ahead and turn that to the correct side. And as you can see, it is now a little smaller. We're going to tuck it. We're going to do, like I said, the same top stitch like we did the other one. And then we're going to go ahead and sew it, um, attach it to the top of the overalls. And she was able to still use this pocket if she wanted to. And this is what it's looking like. I just sewed that on and of course left the top opening part for the pocket. And remember I was telling y'all the straps was too long. I am basically just going ahead and cutting it to what I need. And I actually had to cut some more too because I forgot to measure her. But when she came I measured and finished it off that way. So put both sides together and literally just sew them two together and then we're going to use our loop turner turn it the correct way and attach it to the overalls and that's literally it for the straps um i didn't get into detail on how i cut the holes into the straps for it can go into the buttons but if y'all need a detailed video on that, let me know. These are the other tutus that I created for the older sisters. Super cute. Y'all, they don't like being dressed alike. So she was like, can you please make them different? So I did. And also she wanted the little tutu sock thingies. So basically the same way that I made the tutu, I made it for the socks. But you don't need as many pieces like that so we just want to do the same method and you're just going to have a little baby tutu and y'all i purchased this needle right here um it's not really pointy at the end so i literally purchased that for i can like use it for that reason like to put loops through so y'all now i'm going to work on the shirts so at first um it was just going to be the little boy shirt that was getting the splash paint but once she seen this, she wanted all the shirts like that. So I ended up doing all of the shirts with the splash paint. And I really loved it. Um, we're just going to sew these patches on. I could have ironed the patches on, but I'd end up sewing them because I like stuff to be more secure. Where it's not falling off type of vibes. Y'all get it. But just sewing that down. And I am using my Cricut Kirk's circuit whatever y'all want to call this thing i think it's called Crick. um <clears throat> or the vinyl for their names for the shirts and we're just going to go ahead and put our wax paper down and sew this down i'm not sure if y'all like me talking through the whole video but i just be wanting to explain what's going on because i'm not sure if anybody is actually you know following along with the videos or whatever but that's what's going on i try to keep it nice and simple so for the girl's shirt she wanted to be like um the little um ties on the side y'all know how we used to wear back in the day and that's what i did do a little double knot so nothing is coming apart and we're going to paint their shirts and add the patches just like we did on the little boy's shirt and this is what it's looking like on the sides. Super cute. And then I'm glad that she wanted that because it kind of woke up the shirts for the girls. And, you know. Alright, so now I am using this little bottle. And I had bought some of the little fake eyes. So it can, you know, be moving for the little baby. You know, that probably would really excite her or whatever. So this part was simple. And I just kind of just try to make everything. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. It's 3 o'clock in the morning right now, and I'm editing this video. Well, just doing a voiceover. But um, I'm just making it like this or whatever. So 
um, I got my desired look and we're gonna go ahead and hot glue it together like so now y'all let's attach everything to the overalls okay y'all so now we got the eyes and everything sewed down this is everything everything is done this is the final and finishing look so y'all let me know what y'all think i absolutely love it i know they loved it they looked this so freaking adorable this is all the videos and pictures that they were able to take thank you guys so much i love you guys